Hello developers, welcome back. In the last video of Laravel Passport series, we have implemented the scopes for the tokens. So when we click this authorize from server, here it has asked for authorization to view posts. And on authorize this post from the resource server. Now if uh, refresh, here is the authorized application. Let's revoke it and in the database. Let's remove this and in the client app is in the app HTTP controller OAuth controller. Here we have sent the request for authorization to the server.test and this is the callback when it authorized this callback is called and here we requested for the access token. Now let's dump this. Now in the browser, in the client app, refresh. Now let's authorize from server. Now as we authorize, you will see that it has given us in the response, the token type, expires in, access token and refresh token. Now here, this access token will expire in this given time period. And it is very long time. I think it's a one year long. I suggest to use short period of expiration time just because of security reasons. So when this access token expires, we will use this refresh token to get new updated access token. Now let's set this expiration time. So in the server app, we will navigate to app providers or service provider. And right here we will say passport tokens expire in and then here we will specify the time when it should expire the access token. To demonstrate you I will add here expiring time in 10 seconds. Of course it is very short time but it is okay for our example purpose. So here I will say now and then here I will say add seconds and here I will pass 10 seconds. Next in the browser navigate to home page. Now if we authorize for the server and this time you will see that the expiring time is 10 second. Next I will store that expiring time and refresh token in the OO token table in the client app. Let's go to the editor in the client app. We will navigate to database migrations here is the OO tokens table now here i'll add new column roller table big integer and here i'll add this expires in column and next here i'll say dollar table text and then here i'll add this refresh token now in the terminal in the client app i'll run php artisan migrate fresh it's done in the editor let's close this now in the OAuth controller right here when we get the response now here I will also add the records for the refresh token and expires time so here I'll say expires in and refresh token Now let's go to browser and navigate to home page because we have removed the all table data so we need to create new account Harish, Harish at example.com password confirm password and register now let's click this authorize from server and here we go we get the old post now if we go to the database this time you will see that we have expired scene and refresh token in the table and now after 10 seconds if we refresh it again we will not see any post because the access token is expired so if we go to the editor and in the home controller right here let's comment this if statement for now and 
let's dump this post to see the response so refresh and here you can see unauthenticated message because the access token was expired in 10 seconds so now here what we will do in the oauth token model here i'll create new method has expired to check if uh, the token is expired or not and here i'll say return now greater than dollar this updated add column add seconds dollar this expires in so here what we did we added the expires in time in the updated add column and then we check if current time is greater than this updated add column and then access token is expired now here you may ask that why we have used this updated add column why did not we use that created add column here that is because when this access token is expired we will use this refresh token to fetch the new updated access token and then we will update this record so in that case this created add column will never change and when we update this column laravel will automatically update this updated add column that's why we will use updated add column to check the expiring time next i will create a new route in the routes web.php here i'll create a new route and that is oauth refresh and action is refresh in the oauth controller now let's create this method so in the oauth controller right here here i'll say method refresh it is going to accept request dollar request and let's dump the refresh to just verify that it will hit this route when the token is expired so now next in the home controller right here we will check if auth user token has expired then we will redirect to this oauth refresh if you go to browser this time this uh, token is expired so if we refresh it must be re to the refresh route here it is in the oauth controller now in this route we will request for the new access token so here what i am going to do i am going to copy all of this and paste that here next here the grant type is refresh token next we need to pass refresh token that is dollar request user token refresh token and we have client id secret id redirect uri and now we don't need this instead here we need to pass this scope next we do not want to delete the token let's remove this and finally we will update the token and then we will redirect to the home page and now if we refresh this time it should work and here we go we get the old post now let's see this in the browser one more time so first in the database let's remove this token and let's refresh this now and in the server app refresh and revoke these authorizations and now in the client app authorize from the server and as we authorize it we will see the all posts now wait for the 10 seconds and after 10 seconds if we refresh we will not see any difference because behind the scene when token is expired it immediately 
hit the refresh route to fetch the updated access token and then it use that new updated access token to fetch these posts. This is all in this lesson. Thanks for watching. If you like the tutorial, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next lesson.